Amidst the timeless sands of Egypt's Giza Plateau, where the legendary pyramids stand as guardians of an ancient past, a perplexing discovery has sent shockwaves through the world of archaeology and history. Hidden within the heart of the Great Pyramid, a long-forgotten passage shrouded in mystery and bearing an ominous name has recently come to light, the Mankiller Tunnel. As the grandest of all pyramids and one of the seven wonders of the world, the Great Pyramid has captivated the imaginations of generations. Revered as a marvel of ancient engineering and a testament to the ingenuity of its creators, it continues to conceal secrets that challenge our understanding of the past. The Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt contains a strange 30-foot-long hollow that has been uncovered by a team of archaeologists. The building, also known as the Khufu Pyramid, is the only one still standing among the seven wonders of the ancient world and is also its oldest. The 4,500-year-old pyramid's specific construction method is still a mystery, but researchers think the recent discovery may provide important hints. The 30-foot tube is sealed at both ends and is around 6.5 feet wide by 6.5 feet tall. It is close to the main entrance of the Great Pyramid, where visitors go to see Pharaoh Khufu's tomb. The only thing left in the room after decades of looting is an empty stone sarcophagus. The function of the recently found tunnel is a subject of some debate among historians. At a news conference held in front of the pyramids on Thursday, March 2, Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities chief, Mustafa Waziri, said that the route could have been used to distribute weight more evenly across the 480-foot-tall building. Around 2500 BCE, during the Old Kingdom of Egypt, Pharaoh Khufu started construction on the Great Pyramid. It is made of 2.3 million slabs of limestone, and prior to the construction of the Eiffel Tower in 1889, it was the highest structure in the world. According to an article published on March 2 in Nature Communications, the construction process of the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world is one of the most important archaeological mysteries. Any discovery of previously unidentified internal structures could contribute to our understanding of how this pyramid was built. The route was discovered by researchers from France's Alternative Energies and Atomic Energy Commission CEA, and Japan's Nagoya University using a technique they termed cosmic ray muon radiography. Natural particles called cosmic ray muons are produced when sunlight strikes the atmosphere of the Earth. Objects on Earth absorb varying quantities of moons according to their size and density. Tracking these minute particles allows scientists to identify whether an item is hollow. The Khufu Pyramid's hollow was discovered by the researchers, who then used a small camera less than a third of an inch wide to take pictures by penetrating the outside stones. The finding is attributed to Scan Pyramids, a multi-year project that uses non-invasive technology to study Egypt's historic landmarks. The project discovered a further corridor in the Khufu Pyramid in 2017. Similar to the most recent discovery, experts are still unsure of the tunnel's exact purpose. There is still more to be uncovered, even though the recently discovered chamber could assist researchers find answers to more complicated concerns concerning how the Khufu Pyramid was built. Christian Gross, a member of the Scan Pyramids team, said during the press briefing that there are two large limestones at the final chamber. Let's take a look at the science of muon radiography. An innovative imaging method known as muon radiography, which was originally used in the field at the pyramids of Giza more than 50 years ago, allowed scientists to see more of the pyramids inside. The muon, a subatomic particle that resembles the electron, but is roughly 200 times more heavy and has a relatively brief lifetime, is the basis for muon radiography. Muons are continually falling on us despite their brief lives. Extreme cosmic objects regularly emit high-energy particles that sometimes collide with Earth in the Milky Way and other places. These cosmic rays clash with our upper atmosphere and release a spray of particles, including moons, as a result. The natural muon drizzle on Earth offers no danger. Moons also possess the ideal characteristics to aid scientists in their efforts to see through any kind of construction, including volcanoes, pyramids, and monasteries. They are powerful enough to penetrate solid things and are also simple to detect using specialized emulsion films and detectors. 
Importantly, moons can flow through solid things far more slowly than they can through empty space. Therefore, scientists may map out what is solid and what is an empty emptiness inside a building by placing a number of moon detectors at various angles and positions. According to a recent study that was published in the journal Nature Communications, that is precisely what the researchers accomplished in this case. The descending corridor of the pyramid and a passageway dug into it in the 9th century AD that is now the tourist entrance were discovered by two separate teams of researchers, one from Japan's Nagoya University and the other from France's Alternative Energies and Atomic Energy Commission. These detectors were positioned to face the North Face Corridor, which had previously been found. Researchers aggregated the various moon readings after months of data collecting beginning in 2019 to determine the size and location of the empty area in the North Face Corridor. The emptiness is around 30 feet long, 7 feet tall, and 7 feet broad altogether. Even though the Great Pyramid's corridor has been precisely measured, its actual function will likely always be a mystery to some people while serving as evidence of ancient Egypt's legendary architectural brilliance to others. So, why is this discovery important? The room, which is inaccessible from the outside, has not yet been given a purpose by archaeologists. It's already rare to find a hollow spot in a pyramid, the finding is made even more significant by the fact that this chamber can hold many individuals, according to Gross, who spoke with interesting engineering. The finding, according to a piece that appeared in the magazine Nature on Thursday, may help explain how the pyramid was built as well as the function of the gabled limestone building that stands in front of the passageway. According to Mostafa Waziri, the president of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities, the incomplete corridor was probably built to rebalance the weight of the pyramid either around the main entrance, which visitors presently use and is located about 7 meters distant, or around another as of yet unknown chamber or compartment. After a news appearance in front of the pyramid, he informed reporters, we're going to continue our scanning so we will see what we can do to figure out what we can find out beneath it or just by the end of this corridor. It is also believed that five chambers above the king's burial chamber, in a different section of the pyramid, were constructed to spread the weight of the enormous building. Waziri noted that it was feasible for the pharaoh to have more than one burial chamber. The Great Pyramid's first significant interior structure to be identified since the 19th century was a vacuum that was at least 30 meters long, according to Scan Pyramids researchers, who reported their findings in 2017. The Great Pyramid remains an enigmatic testament to the greatness of ancient civilizations and a testament to the enduring power of human endeavor. As we continue to unlock the mysteries of our world, we carry with us the spirit of exploration, forever driven by the desire to unearth the secrets of our shared history. Thank you for joining us on this remarkable journey. Don't forget to like, comment, and share your thoughts about these discoveries. And as always, remember to subscribe to our channel for more captivating adventures and fascinating discoveries.